Hey, man, what are you doing out here, huh? What are you doing? Yo! What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. Today, some more pigeon videos coming at you. You guys have been loving them, and I'm so glad you have, because I love these pigeon vids. I'm glad I started them at the beginning of the summer. I'm glad I decided to build a loft, and I'm really glad I decided to get some beautiful pigeons. Oh, yeah. So today's video, we're going to start it off by getting these bad boys paired up. They've had a little bit of breakfast today. They've had a little bit of water. So for the remainder of the day, we're going to pair these bad boys up. Now, I've already done some experimental pairing. Basically, I learned how to pair pigeons from you guys. I asked you a couple videos ago, hey, what's some good techniques on pairing pigeons? Because I want to breed them. I want to breed my pigeons. I got some good looking ones in there. We could make some beautiful babies, right? So I learned a couple things. I learned that our all white ones, that one and that one up there, they do not like each other. I'm not sure if they're both male or if they're both female, but they do not get along together. We got old Clark just sitting steady and firm like a, like a hero up there. Check him out. That's Clark. That's our original OG feral pigeon that we trapped, the first one. And I paired him with with that one right behind them, that black and white one that's right behind them. And they absolutely love each other. I mean, that you can tell that's a male and a female. Clark's a boy. The white and black is a girl. And you can tell that they do really well together. They'll stand together. They'll preen next to each other. The whole nine yards. But as far as the other ones go, the grizzle and my reds, I have no idea yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to pair up Carl and the black and white and then we're gonna pair up the grizzle maybe with one of the reds that's what I'm thinking oh you crack me up dude look at him he's just sitting over here watching me film next to the old pigeon loft not a care in the world just chilling he's like dad will you take me to the water to play fetch it's hot out here y'all all right guys so you guys know that i lost a pigeon last week because these guys are smart and these new ones that i got so we're going to try to get in here do a little bit of shuffling around some organizational work without okay we're in we're good we're good we are in here i gotta lock this bad boy up somehow all right we are good to go i hope you all can see me all right but we got you up here on a little shelf okay so what do we need here we want to pair up. That's a male for sure. He's a male. We want to pair up that one and that one that's already in there. Go ahead and shut that. Okay. So right now we got three birds in that one. I need to pull a red out because that is uh, old Carl and the black and white in there. Cause they do well i want to start pairing them more and more and more together one thing i need to learn from y'all when i pair them up do i just pair them up you know half of the day every day then i let them out to eat is that pretty much how we need to be doing this because this is my first experience with pairing and a pigeon loft so y'all have to let me know down in the comments below now we can't pair the both white ones we need to pair actually that's what we'll do we're gonna pair Ugh, I think those are all males. That red one's a chick though, I think. But all these guys over here, all these guys I believe are all males. So what we'll do is, uh, let's get this one here, this red. Oh, goodness. On the camera. Oh. <laughs> this guy here, he's feisty. This is an old one. Check him out. You can really tell how old he is by his eyes just beautiful eyes so we're gonna take him i know he's a male for sure we're gonna put him in this one close that for a minute all right this is what we got going on here this is old clark on the right and we got the black and white the black and white is female i am almost certain and we got old clark over there just a steady firm old male that he is i've paired these two before probably about two days ago and they did just this they did awesome I really want to breed one feral chick like him with a pretty white bird. And then over here we have our new experimental pairing that I don't know if it's going to work. These two, this is the first day they've been together. We got two reds. Uh, you can tell the male on the right side there closer to the camera. He's a lot bigger, real broad neck on him. And with the other one, the other red one, 
that has to be a female real skinny neck a lot smaller pigeon and they're not fighting that's good they're just trying to fight to get out the door because I'm sitting here filming them and this is their first time paired up these two over here are comfy as can be or these two this is the first day they've been paired so doesn't look like they're fighting yet I don't see any pecking going on that's a good sign that we have a male and female in there now this is what I've been needing to do y'all have been requesting the pairing videos you're all like Bobby you got to start pairing them so they'll start breeding I put a bunch of straw in here I put a bunch of sticks I've been telling the kids hey go get little sticks and grass clippings and stuff to throw in the bottom of the loft here so they'll start making nests so we're gonna leave them in there for a little while like I said they ate and drank already this morning I watched them feed and uh, they'll be they should be good to go the rest of the day if you guys have any tips anything that I'm not doing right anything I'm doing wrong anything I'm not doing well enough please drop me a comment down below in the comment section because pairing this is my first time first time doing it do I need to how long do I leave them paired together because I gotta let them both out to, to eat and water so if someone any of you could give me just a little basically like a little timeline like Bobby let them eat don't let them eat pair them for this many hours just let me know I would greatly appreciate it well we are here at the truck stop as you can tell uh, you guys love that last video where I was chasing that banded homer around I have looked every day since that since that day I've looked every single day have not seen him one time what does that mean like is he from town and he just came out here once I don't believe that you know I, I, I feel that he has to know about this place that's why he came out here there's food a lot of other pigeons come out here I can't believe I haven't seen him since that's what's just baffling maybe he was actually in a race and just stopped through <laughs> that would have been a bad deal if I would have caught him while he's in a race Ooh. but if I ever do trap a banded homer I can tell you right now what I will do is hope that there's a callback number on it on that band of the owner because that was gonna be my plan originally is I was gonna net him on the building up here and I was planning on calling the callback number on the bands but no pigeons here today whatsoever we need to go check the traps though to make sure nobody's been tampering with them. I just figured we'd come to the truck stop, see what's all going on. It's right at one o'clock. It is 100 degrees out. Right at 100 degrees out. Ugh, bring duck season. Come on now, I'm ready for the cold weather. I have uh, been remembering to remind myself to always shut my door whenever I'm at the truck stop because the flies Woo, they're bad. They are bad with all this grain on the ground. Let's check this one out. Nope, still tied. You guys had a good recommendation though, is that I start zip tying those lids shut. And that's what I think I need to do. The old spring trap, looking good. We don't have any action out here. All the birds, guys, all of them have moved to all the cut fields. All of them. They don't want to be here. They want to go to cut fields and cut fields only. Look at all this grain we got on the ground though. This is a bad deal. Oof. Check it all out. Big old piles of wheat. I have a feeling going to have to wait a little bit until the nights start getting a lot cooler. Maybe even into September where the weather is changing. And the birds have to come back here to feed. It probably won't last long. I'm guessing uh, once they get over it, going to these fields and, and realizing that there's not a lot of food in the fields on the ground, they'll be coming back here. All it takes is some cool nights gonna have to find a new place to trap I think that's gonna be my next mission I'm gonna head in town one of these days probably tomorrow and I'm gonna go try to get permission to trap on top of buildings I think we're gonna have to make it happen well we are back home here and it is a scorcher out let me tell you I've had the birds in here for I don't know it's been probably I don't know right at a couple hours probably and they are doing awesome these are the two new reds that we put together first time ever putting them together and I believe that they will pair up just fine they haven't pecked at each other they haven't even fought one time and same with these guys doing great so I think we have us two really good pairs right here y'all 
Now, with it being literally 100 degrees outside, um, what should I do? Should I keep them in these boxes separated for good and just keep bowls of food and water in there? Or should I just pair them up during nighttime and let them out to feed and water during the day since it's so hot? Uh, I talked to Jordan, I was like, hey man, you gotta give me some advice for pairing these pigeons. How long do I have to keep them together? He was like, well, usually people do like a two by two or a two by three box. And he was like, you keep them together in that box for, for weeks. I mean, for a long time. With it being so hot out, that's what I'm worried about is, uh, what if they spill their water bowl in there and then, you know, they just overheat or something? Because if I put water bowls in here, they're liable to just spill them and stuff. Whereas in the big loft over here, we got that big water bowl down there. All I know is, is I need some help. Uh, today's video was really good though. We've made progress. We were able to see which birds are going to pair good. And I think that we have two pairs that are gonna breed quite well because they're getting along really well. So, again, I need your all's help. Any of you pigeon experts out there, please help a brother out. Let me know what I need to do with this two pair that we got situated here. Do I need to keep them in there? What do I need to do? It's hot out, so keep that in mind. It's actually a lot better having uh, these two pairs in here. Not as much ruckus when I get in here. <laughs> so where we're at with this, guys, is, um, is we have too many males, I believe. Like I said earlier, get a good look at these guys, those two white ones back there. I paired them bad boys up uh, a couple days ago. Look at that one, he's pecking at me, so get out of here. I paired the two all whites up and they did not like each other. Is it true that if you pair female with female, they fight just like male with male? Drop a comment down below and let me know. I know I'm asking for a lot of your guys' input, but I'm really needing some help learning these birds. Like him there, is that a male or female to y'all? He's pretty young, so just understand, he's a young bird. And then here's the other one here. They look identical. That's why they don't get along. They're either both female or they're both males. And I cannot tell, but they fight. Oh yeah, and here's little Squeaker. This is the last feral blue check that we, uh, that we trapped over at the truck stop. Check him out. He is literally a Squeaker. Little bitty guy. But we're going to end up trading him for, uh, I, th I think, another all-white one. Uh, we either need a male all-white or a female all-white. So, that is why I need to know what we have here as far as these all-whites go. If I need to go back to the big barn loft and get a male or female all-white. Because I want to breed some beautiful all-white birds. I love pure white birds. But you guys did name these all-white birds. This one here with the, uh, what's he got? I think he has a yellow band on his leg. Yep, he does. That guy right there, I'm gonna name him Rossi because uh, as a lot of you guys know, Ross Snow Geese, it's a breed of snow goose. They are my favorite breed of snow goose. And that guy back there, y'all wanted me to name him Snowflake so bad. There was tons of you with the comment, hey, name the red band Snowflake. So I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys' input all the time. As long as it's positive, I love all them comments down there. But now we gotta name my favorite dude. This is this Grizzle here. He looks good, old blue band guy. He's got some red on his wings, a little bit of checker here and there, a little bit of salt and pepper here and there. He's an older bird. We need to get a name for that guy right there. So, you guys know what to do. Drop a comment down below and name that guy right there. That one. He's a good looking bird. That's for certain. They don't get a lot of them. The way he pecks at these two white birds tells me that they're males and that I need to get female all white. So, we'll be heading to Dustin's big barn loft to get two female pure whites. I think that's what we need. But since it is hot out, uh, that's enough of today's pairing action. Basically just wanted to see if uh, those two birds were going to continue to get along, and they are. Same with these guys. I was pleased to see that they actually got along because their red colors are going to end up beautiful. Let me tell you what, these two birds right here are absolute stud red bars. 
Again, guys, I know I'm asking a lot. Hey, drop this and that comment down below, but you're the only guys that I get to learn from. All you pigeon experts out there that are new to the channel, I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks so much for your help all the time. Literally, it's endless. Your guys' help is endless. Every video, I get to learn something from y'all. But honestly, guys, uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do these pigeon videos. I wouldn't know a thing. So I appreciate all your guys' help so much. If you're new to the channel and you like pigeon, you like pigeon hunting, you like goose hunting, duck hunting, you got to hit that subscribe button. We're coming at y'all with daily uploads. It's the first time I've ever done it and I think we're going on our third week solid. So if you guys are liking all the videos, smash that thumbs up for you, boy. God, they are going gnarly in here. Listen. Melon, they're just getting it. Can't figure out which one is cooing so much. Oh, it's him. Oh, I see you. It's that red bar down there in the box right there, the far one. He's the one I had cooped up, pinned up with the other red bar. But guys, if you guys want more pigeon loft videos, if you guys have any ideas that I need to do, we're going to be adding to the loft, making it bigger. We might actually make a whole brand new another loft and have two lofts here at the house. But like I said, if you have any ideas for the loft, any ideas for pigeon videos, anything I'm doing right or wrong, drop your comment down below. I appreciate it. Thank you all for being here. I'm not going to take up any more of y'all's time, but we will see you all on the next one. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that 